Hello, my name is Kathy Dobbins and I'm the principal at Robert Anderson College and Career Academy. You're fixing to be in for a big treat. You're fixing to get to meet a student that has overcome some pretty incredible odds and he has an amazing story to tell you. That student is seventh grader Jordan Thompson. He's a fantastic student. He's a student athlete. He's a leader in our school. And I think you're really going to enjoy getting to meet Jordan. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jordan Thompson and I am a seventh grader at Robert Anderson Middle School. I am so blessed for this opportunity for this uh, to say this speech. And my title of my speech is Making Lemonade. Important events in a life affect a person's attitude and character. I went through a traumatic experience that changed my life forever. At the age of 10, I lost my father to cancer. This experience, along with my family and avid, helped shape helped shape me into who I am today. It was a sunny day on October 15, 2011. I remember that day just like it was yesterday. I was very excited that day because my father was coming home from the hospital. When I walked into my dad's bright hospital room, he smiled with happiness and replied, let's go home. After waiting in the hospital for a few hours, my father was ready to leave. We laughed and talked on the drive home. My mother helped my father out of the Ford Expedition. When my father stepped into the front door, he collapsed on the hard, onto the hardwood floor. As my mother administered CPR, I heard her fearful voice yell, Dial 911. I screamed with fear and ran to the phone. Soon the ambulance attendants arrived and began to work on my father. My heart began to sink. I prayed to God, please don't take my father away. He was the closest thing to perfection that I had seen on this earth. We, f we finally arrived at the AnMed Health Medical Center and a, a nurse escorted us to a family room. We waited and after a few hours a doctor said there was nothing more there was nothing more could be done to help him. Losing my father influenced my life in, in various ways. I went through deep depression. I felt the loss of security and I had to learn how to live again. During the few months after my father passed away, I began going through depression. Many activities that that used to be enjoyable no longer held my interest. I no longer bothered to practice football or even play my PlayStation 3. Spending time with my closest friends held no longer interest, had no pool of consolation for me. Although a USC fan, the excitement of the game did not thrill me. There were often times when I stayed in bed and cried all day. My friends and family could definitely tell that I was, that I was not like I used to be. Depression and anger were my only friends. My father, my best friend, was gone. Consequently, I lost a sense of security. My father told me that he would never leave me and he would always be there for me. After his death, I felt that I had lost my security. In his absence, I did not want to leave my mother's sight. I was afraid that she too would die. Miss Peel and the avid tutors helped me discuss my fears and helped me concentrate on going to college. She taught me numerous coping strategies like critical thinking and setting goals. Although my security was shaken, with, the help, with her help, I began to feel a little more stable. With this foundation, although my father was gone, I began to learn how to live again. To help me get through the, the tough times, I began to think about the lessons my father taught me. One memory was our discussion of his favorite quote, quote, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. When my father said make lemonade, I had a puzzled look on my face. He said, when life does not go as planned, do not give up or complain. Make the best of every situation. I remember he telling me that life does not always turn out the way we plan and that we must make look at each situation in a positive way. This reflection of his words was just what I needed. I chose to look at the positive side of his loss. Even though I miss my father dearly, I carry him in the lessons he taught me deep within my heart. When I have a bad day, I know I know that he it will not last long. My father taught me to focus on the sweetness of the sweetness of the lemonade and not the tartness. I know that I know that I will be okay and make it through this traumatic experience because my father taught me how to make lemonade. This refreshing lemonade was 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 a life force on my journey to live on. This traumatic experience affected my life in many ways. It changed my life in such a way that it made a, made me a new person. Avid changed my life in many ways. My depression turned into hope and my anger turned into de determination. 
I am no longer that angry boy. Avid has helped me focus on my life goals. One of, one of my main goals is to finish high school and enroll in Furman University on an academic scholarship. Depression is no longer my best friend. I am confident and secure, confident and secure in the knowledge that my father will always be a part of me. I will always remember my attitude of Michael, who taught me to focus on my goals and never give up. Therefore, I will live in faith each day with a smile that will make my father proud. I know you enjoyed hearing Jordan's story. I probably should have told you to get some Kleenex before he started it. But I have to give a shout out to Jenny Peel and Karen Hall, the two avid elective teachers at Robert Anderson. Because just like Jenny took Jordan into the avid family and helped him through what he went through, so do both of our avid teachers. They take in these students and they become a family. Thank you for watching. Bye.